Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to an icy, cold, sorry. It's an icy cold morning in London. I, for one, am freezing my knockers off, but it's fine because I have my rope here and we're gonna get warm very soon, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> guys today I'm bringing you the second video in the series of these fundamental jump rope training techniques so welcome back if I if I get all my video editing and cutting and stuff done in time it would have been exactly a week since the last video seven days that's too long for us to have been apart so I'm glad you're back today we're focusing on hand positioning where should your hands be when you skip? Should you be conscious of where they are or should you just allow them to do their own thing while you jump and expect by some kind of fitness wizardry Magic. for everything to come together? Obviously not. I'm gonna get out of this shot now and let the other me, which was the me who actually did the video and will be more helpful to you than this me who just likes to ramble in front of the camera and he's going to talk you through the correct hand positioning so let's take it away good morning boys and girls today we're going to focus on our hand positioning which is key in all aspects of jump roping you need to be conscious of where your hands are these things all right we want to make sure that we've got our hands in the right place and that they're in tune with each other working together for a lot of people they might find that one hand works more than the other or vice versa um, you really want to have a balance there so we're going to address that uh, hand positioning is key in all aspects of jump roping but especially with one of the most by far highly requested techniques to learn which is the double under so we're going to look at this video as a bit of a lead-in to a series of vids addressing the double under really going to the bare bones and working our way up so we can get that perfect double under. Other aspects of the double under that are important are your foot positioning and your jumping technique, your posture and your timing. Um, but today we're gonna work on our hand positioning as this is more applicable to all aspects of jump roping and is more of a general lead in. So without further ado, let's crack into it. Oh, by the way, um, can't exactly jump and talk at the same time from that distance so the way we're going to fix this is you're going to see me demonstrating and in the background you'll hear a voice which would be my voice sort of talking you through so yeah yeah let's do it okay so as we take a look at this demonstration I want you to really take note of the hand positioning we're going to take a look at proper hand positioning first and then after that I'm going to show you some things not to do so firstly, I want you to be mindful of the symmetry of the hands here. We've got both hands on the same level. There isn't one higher than the other, and they're both nice and tucked in. We need to be conscious of where our hands are, but not crippled by it. And what I mean by that is you need to know where your hands are, but don't get too focused and too bogged down about it in your head, because that's when you'll get frustrated. But you need to be nice and relaxed while you're doing this. When starting out, I recommend this to everyone who trains with me. If you can, train in front of a mirror so that you can adjust accordingly. If there isn't a mirror available and you have a phone, record yourself and then assess. Take a look at your recording and look at where your hands are and, you know, just adjust, adjust, adjust until you put them on the same level, on the same plane. We want to think of our hip bone area as the midpoint of our body as we stand upright and therefore that should be the center of the rotation of the rope, okay? Now, here are some things not to do and some pretty common errors actually. Firstly, I want you to notice how one of my hands is starting to creep out here. 
this happens a lot when people are relying on their dominant hand to do all the work um in this example the dominant hand would be my left so that's nice and tucked in as you can see that's actually doing all the work my other hand is pretty much just a passenger it's pretty much just holding onto the rope and and just following the lead of the other hand okay this is a grave error because you you compromise the symmetry of the rope as it turns um you're not going to be able to get a good enough speed because you've only got one point of rotation working on the rope you need to have both of them working together also here uh, another pretty common error we've got both our hands crept out here this can actually be attributed to incorrect rope length if your rope is too long what you'd naturally do is compensate by extending your hands outwards so that the rope doesn't keep scraping the ground um, you want to get a nice little touch on the ground but you don't want it to scrape the ground the reason why this is not a good position to have your hands is that you're calling on a different set of muscles to do the work okay um, what you want to be using is your for your elbow forearm wrist that's what you want to be using to turn the rope when you have your hands out way out like this you're now calling on your shoulders to do the work. You don't want to blow your shoulders out doing this workout because it is quite repetitive and after a while you will wear down those shoulders. So I'm just going to butt in here. Um, Actually, no, I'm not finished. I'm not here. finished. Not the godly voice you hear in the background. So One rude. thing we want to be sure of is to hold our rope around our hip bone region. So just about here as we're jumping you hold the rope at your hip bone region so that your hand is nice and relaxed you don't want to you don't want to have it all the way out like like I just demonstrated away from your body you want to keep it nice and tucked in nice and controlled keep it tight that's where the speed comes from okay you want to keep it tight keep those wrist rotations tight too as well as keeping the rope handle in your hip bone vicinity Ideally, you want it just in front. You want to make sure you've got your handle pointing out as comfortable as is possible to a 90 degree angle from the body. So what I mean is, you've got it out here. From here, you can see it. It's almost like I'm pointing towards you with the handle. Okay, that's because the moment you start to come inside like this, or like that, you make the rope longer. You make the rope longer and that's when you're more liable to trip over or um, the rope is to catch your foot. Um, so you want to keep it tight. Of course, it's, it's quite difficult to hold it rigidly like this the whole way through. So you just want to do the best you can to keep it in this sort of range. That's ideal. Another point with the hand positioning, you want to keep your um, elbows in. You don't want to hold you don't want to hold the rope like this and let it be flaring out you want to keep your elbows tucked in like this keep everything nice and tight that way you're you're allowing the absolute minimal contact with minimal chance of contact with the body keeping the elbows tucked in you want from a side on angle you want to see that elbow pointing backwards okay the reason why we do this is so that you can get maximum power in your rotations by snapping your elbow like this that's how you get maximum power in your rotations. One thing that is um, often misunderstood is that the power of your rope turns comes from your wrist. Okay, that's incorrect. Your wrist more acts as a vehicle to, to just transmit that energy. You want to keep your wrist nice and loose, but the power comes from your elbow. This snapping action of the elbow is where the power comes from. So you want to keep your elbow pointed back. You want to keep it tucked in just that's the motion you want to go with okay another thing we want to focus on with the hands is how we hold our handle so I've got my handle here shout out to the guys at RX smart gear you want to hold it about an inch down from the from the end of from this end of the handle the end connected to the cable like so okay you don't want to hold it too close to here because you're not allowing you're not allowing this 
pivot point to do its work. You're doing all the turning with your wrist and you won't be able to hit the highest speeds. So you want to give it a bit of room. Keep it nice and controlled. If you hold it too far down here, you lose all control of the rope. So you want to keep it at about a midpoint. Here. Okay. That is a wrap. Um, let me know what you thought of the video. If there's anything more you'd like me to address in these fundamental series of videos, just drop it in the comments. I'll, I'll definitely see it there. And that's about it. All the best with your training. Until next time, it's bye from me. Okay guys, that's a wrap. That's my take on correct hand positioning while jumping rope. Get this right and you're on your way to hitting those insane speeds with your jump rope. The positioning of your hands is directly related to how fast the rope turns. And once you've got your hand positioning and turning technique right, all you need to do is get your timing in tune with that turning speed and you're on your way, you're there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what you thought, whether you thought it was great or whether you thought I could have improved on it in any way. I'm equally as glad to hear both those opinions. Also, in the next video, we're gonna be looking at a technique that I really love. It's actually very dear to my heart. I use this technique a lot. Um, those of you who've been following my stuff will know this, of course. Uh, that is the side swing. We're gonna go through the benefits of the side swing, the various ways in which you can use it. It's gonna be fun, so keep an eye out for that one. For future Fundamentals videos, if there's anything you want me to go through, let me know in the comments section. Communicate with me. Um, I really look forward to it. Thanks again. Enjoy your training and have fun. All right, that's it. It's a wrap. That's my take on your... <coughs> How many takes? How many takes? I haven't got time for this. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. That was my take on correct hand positioning. My hands are doing a lot right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs>